Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday. So today I thought I would do a video on just our new daily routine and how I get things done around the house with the kids um, in quarantine and with my husband being in California. Uh, so we just got up. I literally haven't looked at myself in the mirror until I looked in the viewfinder, so I'm sorry about that. I just made my coffee. I started the dishwasher and wiped it down, and then I just wiped down the refrigerator. And now I'm gonna take out the garbage. Whoops. Oh my goodness, my booty just turned off the dishwasher. Well, that's just great. I hope that's not a sign of how the day's gonna go. Feed the kitty, you wanna help me feed the kitty, sis? Feed the kitty, and then we'll have some milky. So every morning, the kitty, look, he's waiting. Hi, Howie. <gasps> look what I have. Oh, look what I have. <gasps> Howie wants his breakfast. You gonna help mommy, sis? Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Let's do it, come on. And then we'll have some milk. Sayla's favorite thing is to feed the cat. She loves it. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oh, get down, Howie. He absolutely loves the stuff and he goes crazy for it. So, let me see if I can do this. No, 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 Howie. Come here. Let's feed the kitty cat. Howie, look. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, 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 Howie, I can't see. Okay. Are you ready for some milk, sis? Oh. Anyways, um, I gotta do a few chores, get myself ready, and we have a grocery order pickup at between nine and 10, and it says on my phone that they're preparing the order right now, and it is eight. 15 or like 8 o'clock my clock is set ahead so we are all gonna get dressed and head out to go get that and I have a really red eyeball that's not feeling very well this morning so finish my coffee nurse my baby get everyone dressed and then we can go so we are sitting in the Walmart pickup um, <laughs> We just stopped and got McDonald's. I actually am having a hot vanilla latte. I'm so excited about this. And, oh, whoa, that was not cool. What? My lid just fell off my coffee. It wasn't on all the way. Wow, that could have been a disaster. Anyways, um, we are sitting here. I checked in already and we got McDonald's. I actually got two egg McMuffins. Can I fix your hash brown? Let me push it up. Sayla's having a hash brown. I need to help you, sis. Oh, it is? Elsa. She's watching Elsa on her thing. Let's see. Are you watching? Uh, oh. oh, there it is. <gasps> Look, Mickey wow, one, Mickey one. So cool. Do it? It's a red uh, one. Oh, is it Lightning McQueen? I got Sayla and James a banana strawberry can smoothie. Do you want to try some? Can I um, well, you don't really need to because we're well, gonna. I don't want to get so we're gonna go to the park as soon as they're done loading up all of our groceries. Um, we're gonna go hang out there for a little bit and, and then my chore for the day, I forgot to put the garbage out. Gotta help Sayla, she's eating the paper to her McDonald's. So we are headed over to my friend Brenda's house because the park had a sign saying that it was closed. So we're so sad, this is such a fun park. I should have showed it to you guys, but um, <clears throat> it looks like a big wooden castle 
and it has like rock climbing walls and tunnels and slides and swings and like so many fun things. But um, now we are headed to my friend Brenda's house. So we're gonna play here for a little bit and then we're gonna head home and do our chores. We have groceries in the back that do need to be in the refrigerator, so um, we gotta head home pretty soon, so.
are finally home and you guys look at my hair. It was like the craziest windstorm. My hair is totally flat. Um, so we were at my friend Brenda's house. We walked around, you guys can see we fed the llamas and the goats and the sheep. It was so cute. We walked around, she has a pond. I didn't film anywhere down there, um, but there's a pond behind her house and it's empty. So we walked around looking for seashells and stuff. Super cute, the kids were throwing rocks into the pond and stuff. But anyways, we are home now. Sayla is asleep on the couch and I have this going on. Need to put all of this away. I was gonna do, I started putting stuff away already. Um, I just put away yogurt and blueberries because I had frozen stuff and ice cream. I forgot that I had got ice cream. I was like, oh my God, it's been sitting in the car. But um, this is all the cold stuff. I got yogurt, cheese. And then um, I got these two different, well, this is our favorite yogurt, you guys. This stuff is so good. So I got the strawberry and the honey one. And then, oh, I put the, um, I got this giant bag of blueberries right here. And I have another big bag of this, um, but it's like mixed fruit. This is three pounds. And then, oh, I had got this red, white, and blueberry um, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So it's, it was a little melted. I'm sure it will be fine, but the blueberries are probably gonna be a little stuck together. Anyways, I'm gonna take all this stuff out and sanitize it, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and then I'm not gonna touch the camera with my hand, with this hand, after I touch this stuff. I just wiped that stuff down with the Clorox wipe. So I wipe everything down. I usually do this in the garage, so, but I'm gonna do it right here. I just don't like doing this because I'm scared stuff's gonna like go in the air. But anyways, so I got...
having a little snack right now, you guys. It is almost three o'clock. And I had McDonald's this morning. So I was bad on my diet. So that means for the rest of the day, I gotta pull it in tight. But I'm going to have some feta cheese, some peppers, some crackers, and then I think I need some protein, more protein. So I'm gonna do some lunch meat. Um, yeah, and I think that's good for a little snack. Yeah, bud. Whoa, look at that bubble. Let me see. Whoa. I can pull a bubble. Ooh, there's a hair on it. Be still. Got it. <laughs> You're a bubble master. I pulled a bubble back there. You did? Oh my. I pulled on this light. Awesome. And ran home oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love you. So cute. I love you, little butter bean. Whoa, good job. Just you, you Fire point yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands butt? again before I eat. Mom, Mom look at how you look at your butt. Ew, gross. <laughs> okay, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, guys, so I just got done planting the flowers and the plants outside and cleaning up a little bit. I was gonna kind of show you just a little bit right over there. It looks so good. I cleaned, like sprayed off that part of the patio and um, the kids decided to run through the sprinkler so they got soaking wet and took all their clothes off at the door. Now we have a big mess right here. So anyways, it is way time for dinner, like way, 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 way late, late time for dinner. So. I am gonna start cleaning up that mess over there and then I am going to probably make some steak something I don't know what yet I have steak elk steak so I might make like elk steak nachos sounds really good um, it's probably like the easiest thing for me to make but anyways somebody's pooping Okay you guys, so I haven't been on here in a while because I've been crazy busy mom life. <sighs> Anyways, I am literally at the end of my rope right now. I'm like, I had to get out my book, this book right here. It's the mom's devotional Bible. I had a friend give it to me and it's all about being a mom. Um, it helps you deal with your kids and like praying for your kill kit your children and like this is like for you um, So many things in here. I love how these have like these little hearts next to um, Just like really neat little things here um there's so much goodness in this book. It's unbelievable. Um, the family that prays together, which we do every single night. My husband, we call him, and we all pray together. It's so good. We have like it has like family traditions for like Christmas, New Year's, Easter. It's kind of like a journal too. Um, for your children when they become parents it's really really good and it keeps me sane like when I start to feel like I'm I've had it for the day and I start getting impatient with my kids and I like yell at them um, I can't stand yelling at my kids I absolutely cannot stand it it's one thing that I'm just like trying to slowly stop doing but it's so hard um, I just 
I don't know. It's so hard to get like get out of the habit when you start doing that. But I hate it. I like there's I can't even list like what I hate about it. There's so many things that I hate about it. Um and then I feel guilty later and it's like that's not how I want my kids to deal with things later in their life. But I just get so tired. I am just like here by myself. I've been in quarantine for over a month by myself with two toddlers. The only people I talk to are my husband and my mom and my dad on my video call. And I haven't had like any adult interaction for over a month, like, like in person, like everybody else. So it's just, um, when it starts to wear on you, I just always turn to God and it fills you up. That's the best place to get what you need. But anyways, the baby's starting to cry. So again, I am needed. Uh, better to be needed than not needed. Um, anyways, I look crazy right now. Um, anyways, it's bedtime. So good night, you guys. And remember, you are blessed and you are a blessing. Good night. See you guys next time. Bye.